towards me. I'm excited for us to once again relax, grab some snacks, something to drink, and maybe make some artwork together if you feel like it while we hang out and talk about some internet stuff, some drama. I'm going to be working on this caricature illustration of Tana Mojo, and I really want to see or hear about what you're working on during this video if you've decided to do something creative with me. I also encourage just sitting back and just watching if that's what you feel like doing. If anyone is looking for an idea or a prompt for what to draw or sketch or paint, let's do a unicorn as a human or you can download this app I used and get your own prompt. I literally just Googled art prompt generator and found this on the app store for free. So feel free to either draw a unicorn as a person or something else or nothing or whatever you want. So I've been really wanting to draw a caricature of Tana Mojo for a while now. And I finally decided to just go ahead and do it since I also have some topics involving Tana that we can just like hang out and talk about for this video. Her podcast. Tana's podcast has actually been doing really well. It's been like at the top of the podcast charts and fans have been receiving it really well as, as well. That's a lot of times to say the word well. Even though most people are surprised that the podcast has lasted this long, considering Tana's reputation of starting up projects and never following through with them, and how she basically abandoned her YouTube channel. At this point, I think it's pretty obvious that Tana just kind of goes where the money and the success is, and that's why she's been focusing on her OF and Instagram and TikTok. It's where she's getting the most growth and attention right now, so YouTube has just kind of been left behind. So as long as this new podcast is bringing Tana the money and the success and the attention, I'm pretty sure it's going to continue as long as that's what's happening. But guys, after watching a few of these podcasts, I definitely have a different outlook on Tana. She's not a good person by any means, and I don't admire her actions or just her in general, but you kind of have to give her credit for how well she's able to adapt and grow and climb the social ladder to like the A-list level of success in the influencer world that she's achieved. And I think she's a lot smarter than we think, but I've also heard you can't have that level of fame and success and be a good person at the same time, unless you're Taylor Swift. But I have my own personal beef with her. Don't come for me, it's actually nothing bad, it's just, she just really hurt my feelings once when I was a passionate teenager country star wannabe. Hi, this is my cover of Sparks Fly by Taylor Swift, and I hope you like it. And Taylor turned around and released a bubblegum pop single out of nowhere. And the day I heard Never Ever Getting Back Together was the day I had my biggest heartbreak of my life. But that's a video for another time if anybody cares about that. But I did walk down the aisle to Enchanted, so I guess I'm pretty over it. We'll see. <laughs> Yesterday, I listened to the latest episode of Tana's Cancelled podcast and definitely had a few thoughts about it. There was a lot of interesting subject matter that I just wanted to talk about while I finally get to draw Tana with you guys. And speaking of drawing Tana, I just found this acrylic painting I made of Tana years ago, like 2018 or something, but it's a little rough. It has some wear and tear, especially in the corners, as you can see, but I decided to just pop it up on the old Etsy shop and see if anyone wanted to give it a new home. I have a whole collection of old art that is just sitting, taking up space, so if anyone wants it, I'm putting it up for $21. And if you wish I was selling it for $6, well, maybe you should have been following me on Twitter and decided to pick six from this totally random poll that nobody knew what it was about. And if you do follow me and you picked 21 Thanks guys, maybe I can buy a couple cups of my favorite pumpkin spiced lattes if this painting sells. And also if you want to support my art on Patreon and you want me to send you my original White Horse with Roses sticker in the mail, the link will be in the description. Okay, now I'm done trying to sell you my art. Let's just get started for real. So this podcast mentions a lot of TikTokers and honestly, I'm not too knowledgeable about TikTok stars. So if there's something juicy in there that I skipped over in the podcast, and you want to talk about it and gossip about it, feel free to mention it in the comments and maybe someone else will chime in and have a conversation with you. Won't be me though, because nothing against TikTokers, I just genuinely don't know anything about them, except like Charlie and Addison and those guys. <laughs> okay, so Tana's latest podcast. Guest starred Bryce Hall, 
someone I don't know a ton about, but I've been hearing about all the time, so it seems like he's a pretty big deal on the internet. I just haven't caught up with all of that yet, so maybe here's the start of that. All I know about TikTok stars, honestly, is what Spilly from Spillsesh posts because I love her and I watch everything she posts, even if I don't know the person in the thumbnail. Anyway, Tana starts off the podcast by reminding the audience about how two years ago, Tana posted an exposed video on Bryce Hall and called for him to be deplatformed for cheating on a bunch of girls and beating up her friend and getting into a Twitter fight with her and lying to the internet about claiming that they uh, had done the deed and hit all the bases, if you will, which just look how hard Tana tried to deny this. If you cared so much about Zach, why'd you fuck me? Now I'm mad! Imagine responding to someone's allegation by lying and saying that you fucked me. Tana Mojo lies and her story times confirmed, but we will get more into that a little bit later. <laughs> anyway, Bryce says that he posted a response video to that that he eventually deleted because he was ratioed apparently. I never saw it, so if you did, let me know what happened because it would be an interesting look into YouTube history for sure. <laughs> they go into why they became friends again and Tana says she just did it for clout, so uh... Cool, at least she's being brutally honest. <laughs> Tana mentions how before the podcast, she asked Twitter questions that she should ask Bryce for the podcast. And Tana talks about how Bryce's fans are super protective over his image and don't want Tana to ask him questions that will get him canceled. So that's a little scary. Definitely doesn't seem like a great person I'd want to be friends with. I don't know. I just get an off vibe from him but let's just move on, shall we? Then they get into whether or not Bryce was paid for the Austin McBroom fight, and basically he tried to dance around it at first because of legal reasons, but ultimately said no, he was not paid, but he will get paid. And he also eventually says that Austin is a really good fighter and he would fight him again. Then they talk more about boxing stuff, which I'm kind of a naff and I don't pay attention to sports except fantasy football because I'm just naturally good at not doing any research and winning the whole thing anyway. True story, I am fantasy football 2020 champion here, but Bryce then says that he's happy for Addison Ray moving on and he doesn't care about seeing things on the internet or getting tagged in things about it. They talk about how Bryce fights everyone and apparently he is 40 and 0 in street fights, which I don't know, seems a little high school to me says someone who has literally never been in a fight. But side note, once my best friend in high school, literally the girl who ended up being my maid of honor at my wedding, still my best friend to this day, was about to get beat up by this girl who was mad at her because of some petty boy drama. And right before my best friend was like about to get beat up in the hallway, I literally left because the bell rang and I didn't want to be late for class. That's how much I am afraid of fights and breaking the rules of school, but sorry, sorry, my, my friend. I don't want to say your name just in case you don't want me to, but I'm glad the other girl chickened out and never hit you, so you didn't actually get beat up. <laughs> they get into t the TanaCon situation and talk about how they first bonded over both having bad encounters with Michael Weiss, Michael Weiss, however you pronounce it, <laughs> and who that's the guy who helped helped run TanaCon, in case you didn't know, by the way. Tana said the reason why her and Bryce are now friends again for real is because Bryce has matured, which I just don't get the vibe, but what do I know? Then they get into TikTok stuff, Sway House stuff, throwing parties, vlogging, etc. But let's get into the actual real for real problem here. The part of the podcast that really made me stop and ask, what I just heard. And also a trigger warning for SA, by the way, this was a, like a super s serious situation in here and I'm surprised how it was so brushed over by Tana and Bryce and also most of the people in the comments of the podcast. So Tana, really nonchalantly, talks about how one time she was at a party at Bryce's house and this one YouTuber who she said she would not name was trying to SA her. And before she flat out says that, she stops herself and prefaces by saying she doesn't mean to be so accusatory with that term that she uses. But I mean, if that's what happened, then that's what happened. And apparently it didn't happen, but it was still attempted. Tana goes on to say that this YouTuber 
was really trying to hook up with her and Tana kept saying no, no, no over and over, but he would not take no for an answer. Luckily, she said that all her friends there had her back and put that guy in his place, but then Bryce straight up defends him by saying that his friend, the YouTuber, was drunk too and he's not normally weird like that. And he's just a very persistent guy. And Tana laughs this off by joking and saying that she has a different opinion. Bryce continues by saying his friend, the YouTuber, is just the type to not take no for an answer and to be persistent, but not in a creepy way, but just annoying. How is what he did not creepy, by the way? Just wondering. Tana says fair but continues to push back a little bit and goes back to how everyone else there really had her back in that situation before the topic quickly changes to something way more insignificant. Again, I'm really surprised that I didn't see as many comments as I thought about that. There was definitely a couple, but most comments didn't were not about that at all. I haven't seen any videos about it. I haven't heard anything about this on Twitter. I was literally just listening to this podcast Four days late, might I add, and I heard it and I was like, wait, what? So yeah, that happened. And I hope Tana is okay. It seems like she reacted okay to that. Well, I guess not. If she, I actually have no clue like what she was feeling deep down or how she's dealing with that behind the scenes. Um, I don't know how she processes things, but it's definitely something that I wanted to shi shine a light on for that part of the podcast. And again, Bryce definitely seems like a totally terrible person in my opinion. Anyway, everyone pretty much just brushed all of that off and they just go on to talk about other things like Bryce's girlfriend, the team Bryce on God merch, Tana's relationship with Jake Paul and her TikTok beef with him, body counts, more boxing stuff, more TikTokers, etc. And then this happened. Even when we there's I was, just that was, no need. But I, I denied it for I so long. I know you did. And then this. Did You're the first girl I did with. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming to the Gansled Podcast. Hey, thanks for coming on the podcast. <laughs> also, apparently all of that happened before Tana publicly called for his deplatform platform de platformation. Oh my god, I forgot how to talk for a second. I did that in my last video too. Anyway, this all happened before her whole YouTube beef with Bryce Hall and the Psycho Musical.ly Storytime video. And it makes me, it reminded me of when Bryce and Addison were kind of like right before they broke up, but they were still together, I think, maybe not. And Bryce was seen hanging out with Tana at Saddle Ranch and giving her flowers while Addison was also there. And I'm like, I would have been mad too if I were Addison. Like, if I had a boyfriend who was giving flowers to a girl that he has been with, I don't know, call me petty, call me jealous, but that's just one of my boundaries is if you're my partner, you're not friendly with people from your past is, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> Disagree with me on that if you want, but that's just my opinion on that. And yeah, that was basically the podcast. So for sure, let me know your thoughts on all of that. So let's get into it in the comments. Also, I do want to see your unicorn people drawings or whatever you drew. Or if you did something else, like if you just had a snack, that's cool too. Send me a picture of what you ate. And if you did make some art with me, as always, I'd love to see it by tagging me on Instagram or Twitter at Paint and Sip YT. And here is some of the art that was shared with me from my previous videos. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe. With that, I hope you enjoyed hanging out and maybe making some artwork with me. If you're not an artist, I hope you were able to just hang out and listen and enjoy the video anyway. Thanks so much for watching and stay creative. See you next time.